What about other figures in the community, not family, not teachers, others who may have inspired you in some way or the other? Nicole McCain. Mm -hmm. I think you remember Nicole McCain. Sure. J.T. McCain. He was my baseball coach. J.T., my father, loved J.T. J.T. Uh, was a principal who had defied uh, the authorities and refused to accept uh, those hand-me-down books uh, at the school uh, that he was principal and was fired and went out and uh, went to work for, for CORE. But when he was still a principal, he was a great baseball player and loved baseball. And I was a pretty good baseball player. Uh, I had been taught baseball by my dad, uh, but my dad thought baseball was just uh, avocational. It wasn't anything he mm. did in an organized way. Um, but J.T. Uh, Nicole McCain wanted me on his baseball team. And so he went to my dad uh, and talked my dad into allowing me to come out of those gardens uh, that he had us all working in mm. uh, to play second base on his baseball team. Uh, my dad would always uh, do what uh, uh, J.T. McCain uh, wanted done. And so, uh, and J.T. Uh, sort of uh, uh, mentored me. I, 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 I can't explain exactly what he meant. It was just his act of defiance mm -hmm. uh, and the fact that he never, never uh, allowed anything to intimidate him. Um, I just admired him, uh, so he had a tremendous influence. Um, I think the uh, one other defining moment for me uh, came um, uh, when I first met Martin Luther King Jr. I met him at that weekend mm -hmm. uh, down there at Mo House, and if you recall, it was a weekend that many of us challenged Martin uh, for preaching, uh, going to jail, but having not gone right. uh, to jail. Um, and uh, that weekend, we stayed up all night with him. Uh, it was when the two of us met. It was mm -hmm. when I met John Lewis. Uh, well, formally, I think we we may have uh, seen each other earlier. Um, uh, Marin, uh, Barry, we were all there. Diane. Uh, yeah, yeah everybody. Diane Nash, yeah, all these people. Um, that night, sitting up with Martin Luther King Jr., almost all night, I think it's like 4 o'clock in the morning. Uh, and if you recall, it was after that weekend, it went down, I think it was Albany, in Georgia. And, and it went to Riches and got arrested. Got arrested. Right. Uh, and uh, all of that led to, later on, the phone call from Mrs. Uh, to Mrs. King, right from, uh, John, F. from John F. Kennedy, uh, which uh, changed uh, the course of events, mm -hmm. because few people realize it now. But uh, going into that weekend, which was like three weeks before the election, mm -hmm. uh, Richard Nixon was getting the vast majority of the black vote. Mm -hmm. uh, Archibald Kerr was running all over the country right. doing it for him. Archibald had a tremendous influence on me, as well, and. Uh, I was uh, on my campus uh, uh, camping in Florida, uh, uh, wasn't old enough to vote at the time, but uh, we, we were having these mock debates, and I was Richard Nixon in all the debates. Mm -hmm. My friends always teased me, says, man, you won every one of those debates, uh, but I lost the election, because <laughs> <laughs> every time uh, folks went to the polls in all these mm -hmm. mock elections, um, uh, Kennedy was winning. Mm -hmm. uh, that was a tremendous lesson to me, too, mm -hmm. uh, over uh, how politics works. Mm -hmm. uh, because, you know, you sometimes you think, just because i got the best argument, I guess the best platform, right. I've got to win. Mm -hmm. uh, it doesn't work that way. I mean, the emotionalism that gets involved in politics is something else again. So I think that weekend mm -hmm. on Morris's campus, that uh, uh, all-night session, uh, almost all-night session with Martin Luther King, uh, Luther King and um, uh, when Archibald Carey was trying to get Nixon, uh, and if you recall, um, Henry Cabot Lodge, his running mate mm -hmm. uh, at, uh, in that election, uh, saw it mm -hmm. uh, and got taken to the woodshed for uh, for saying things positive about civil rights, if right. you recall. Uh, 
uh, Nixon, I guess I should have seen it then. Uh, I didn't see it until uh, after his last out of 72 at, at Watergate, exactly uh, what it was about his personality. Uh, but um, Nixon had a pretty good platform to run on. He just had something else quirky in his personality.